Orenthal James Simpson was born on July 9, 1947 in San Francisco, California. Simpson was a son of Eunice, Nay Durden, an orderly at a psychiatric ward, and Jimmy Lee Simpson, a custodian for a Federal Reserve Bank and a private club and a cook. His father was also a well-known drag queen in the Bay Area. Later in life, Jimmy Simpson announced that he was gay. He died of AIDS in 1986. Orenthal James Early Life Simpson grew up in San Francisco and lived with his family in the housing projects of the low-income Potrero Hill neighborhood. As a child, Simpson developed rickets and wore braces on his legs until the age of five, giving him his bow-legged stance. He earned money by scalping tickets and collecting seat cushions at Kazar Stadium. After his parents separated in 1952, when Simpson was four, he and his siblings were raised by their mother. Simpson's maternal grandparents were from Louisiana. His aunt gave him the name Orenthal, which she told him was the name of a French or Italian actor she liked. He was called O.J. from birth and did not know that Orenthal was his given name until a teacher read it in third grade. Simpson had one brother, Melvin Leon Truman Simpson, one living sister, Shirley Simpson Baker, and one deceased sister, Carmelita Simpson Durio. In his early teenage years, Simpson joined a street gang called the Persian Warriors and was briefly incarcerated at the San Francisco Youth Guidance Center. His future wife Marguerite, whom he dated in high school, described him as really an awful person then. After his third arrest, Simpson happened to meet with baseball star Willie Mays, who encouraged the youth to avoid trouble. He said it helped persuade him to reform. At Galileo High School, now Galileo Academy of Science and Technology, in San Francisco, Simpson played for the school football team, the Galileo Lions, he played as a tackle and then as a fullback. Meanwhile, he started earning money by organizing dances and charging admission. He graduated in 1965. Personal Life On June 24, 1967, Simpson married Marguerite L. Whitley. Together, they had three children, Arnell L. Simpson, born in 1968, Jason Lamar Simpson, born in 1970, and Aaron Lashwan Simpson, 1977-1979. In August 1979, Aaron drowned in the family's swimming pool. Simpson met Nicole Brown in 1977 while she was working as a waitress at a Beverly Hills nightclub called The Daisy. Although still married to his first wife, Simpson began dating Brown. Simpson and Marguerite divorced in March 1979. During the 1984 Summer Olympics torch relay, Simpson carried the torch on Santa Monica's California Incline Road, running behind Brown. Brown and Simpson were married on February 2, 1985, five years after his retirement from professional football. The couple had two children, Sidney Brooke Simpson, born in 1985, and Justin Ryan Simpson, born in 1988. The marriage lasted seven years. Starting in the mid-1970s, Simpson was friends with brothers Lyle and Eric Menendez, who later became famous for the 1989 arrests, trial, and convictions for the murders of their parents. He visited their house several times. The three met up again in prison after Simpson was arrested for double murder of Nicole Brown Simpson and her friend, Ron Goldman who were found stabbed to death in the courtyard outside Brown's condo, in the Brentwood neighborhood of Los Angeles. Brown claimed that by the end of 1989, Police had visited her and Simpson's house eight times for domestic violence calls, and they did not help her in any of them. On December 31, she phoned the police, saying that she thought he was going to kill her. She was found by officers hiding in the bushes outside their home, badly beaten and half-naked. Authorities said Simpson had punched, slapped, and kicked her. He pleaded no contest to spousal abuse. A family friend claimed that Simpson had told Brown's friends that if he ever caught her with anyone, he would kill her. Brown filed for divorce on February 25, 1992, citing irreconcilable differences. This was after finding out about an alleged year-long affair Simpson had had with model Tawny Katine. Reports suggest that in 1993, after the divorce, Brown and Simpson made an attempt at reconciliation. In October, Brown called the police to report Simpson being violent again, after he allegedly found a photo of a man Brown had dated while they were broken up. Again, officers intervened. The two broke up again, seemingly permanently, in May 1994. According to Sheila Weller, they were a dramatic, fractious, mutually obsessed couple before they married, after they married, after they divorced in 1992, and after they reconciled. In total, prosecutors for Simpson's murder trial found 62 incidents of abusive behavior by Simpson towards Brown. College career. Although Simpson was an all-city football player at Galileo, his mediocre high school grades prevented him from attracting the interest of many college recruiters. 
After a childhood friend's injury in the Vietnam War influenced Simpson to stay out of the military, he enrolled at City College of San Francisco in 1965. He played football both ways as a running back and defensive back and was named to the Junior College All-American team as a running back. City College won the Prune Bowl against Long Beach City College, and many colleges sought Simpson as a transfer student for football. In 1967, Simpson enrolled at the University of Southern California, USC, in Los Angeles, which he had admired as a young football fan. He had also considered going to the University of Utah. He played running back with the Trojans for head coach John McKay in 1967 and 1968. Simpson led the nation in rushing both years under McKay, in 1967 with 1,543 yards and 13 touchdowns, and in 1968 with 1,880 yards on 383 carries. In 1967's Victory Bell rivalry game between the teams, USC was down by six points in the fourth quarter with under 11 minutes remaining. On their own 36, USC backup quarterback Toby Page called an audible on third and seven. Simpson's 64-yard touchdown run tied the score, and the extra point provided a 21-20 lead, which was the final score. This was the biggest play in what is regarded as one of the greatest football games of the 20th century, and pictures of the play were published in many national magazines. Another dramatic touchdown in the same game is the subject of the Arnold Freeberg oil painting, O.J. Simpson Breaks for Daylight. Simpson also won the Walter Camp Award in 1967 and was a two-time unanimous All-American. USC would go on to win the national title for that year. Even though Simpson led the nation in college football rushing yards, the Heisman Trophy went to Gary Bevan, Simpson was second in voting. Professional career. Simpson entered professional football with high expectations, but struggled in his first three years, averaging only 622 yards per season. Bills coach John Rauch, not wanting to build an offense around one running back, assigned Simpson to do blocking and receiving duties at the expense of running the ball. In 1971, Rauch resigned as head coach, and the Bills brought in Harvey Johnson. Despite Johnson devising a new offense for Simpson, Simpson was still ineffective that year. After the 1971 season, the Bills fired Johnson and brought in Lou Saban as head coach. Unlike Rauch, Saban made Simpson the centerpiece of the Bills' offense. Simpson gained 11,236 rushing yards, placing him second on the NFL's all-time rushing list when he retired, he now stands at 21st. He was named NFL Player of the Year in 1973, and played in six Pro Bowls. He was the only player in NFL history to rush for over 2,000 yards in a 14-game season, and the only player to rush for over 200 yards in six different games in his career. From 1972 to 1976, Simpson averaged 1,540 rushing yards per 14-game season, 5.1 yards per carry, and he won the NFL rushing title four times. Simpson was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1985, his first year of eligibility. In 2019, he was named to the National Football League 100th Anniversary All-Time Team. Simpson also occasionally returned kickoffs during his early career, finishing with 33 returns for 990 yards and a touchdown, an average of 30 yards per return. Simpson acquired the nickname Juice as a play on OJ, a common abbreviation for Orange Juice. Juice is also a colloquial synonym for electricity or electrical power, and hence a metaphor for any powerful entity. The Bills offensive line at Simpson's peak was nicknamed the Electric Company. Broadcasting career. Simpson worked as an NFL analyst on NBC from 1978 to 1982. He joined ABC's Monday Night Football crew in 1983, becoming the first black announcer on the network's number one NFL broadcast team. For Super Bowl XIX during the 1984 season, ABC moved Simpson to its pregame show, replacing him in the broadcast booth with active player Joe Theismann, who had played in the previous two Super Bowls. Simpson continued his Monday night football announcing duties in 1985 before being dropped after the season. In 1989, he rejoined NBC to replace Ahmad Rashad as an analyst on their NFL Live. After he was accused of his ex-wife's murder, Simpson was replaced by Rashad in 1994 illness and death. In May 2023, Simpson reported that he had been diagnosed with cancer and expressed confidence that he would beat it. He also said he started chemotherapy. In February 2024, it was reported that Simpson was undergoing treatment for prostate cancer. A week and a half before his death, Simpson cancelled a scheduled memorabilia signing because he was not feeling well. In the final days before his death, all of Simpson's children visited him. 
He died of the disease on April 10, 2024, at the age of 76. At the time, Simpson had been living in Las Vegas, right next to the Rhodes Ranch Golf Club. About a rental James house. O.J. Simpson, a figure who has captivated public fascination, resided in a luxurious house in Las Vegas, Nevada. The house, owned by his friend, is a two-story Spanish-style mansion spanning 5,037 square feet. It boasts five bedrooms and five and a half bathrooms, providing ample space for Simpson. The house was furnished with high-quality furniture and adorned with art pieces. The kitchen featured modern appliances, and the overall decor style was contemporary. Materials used in construction and decoration were of top quality. The house seamlessly blends modern and traditional architectural elements. Its complex, multi-level roof structure is adorned with terracotta tiles, adding both aesthetic appeal and functionality. The facade is painted in a neutral tone, complemented by large windows that allow ample natural light into the interior spaces. That's all we have for today. Thanks for watching our video, please like, comment, share and also subscribe to our channel.